of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration in the name of Jesus ministry relationships business relationships destiny relationships covenant relationships receive it in the name of Jesus hear me there are many of you the situation you are in now you cannot advocate your liberty it will take somebody who is already in the palace you are Joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams potential to be a prime minister but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of Pharaoh but there is a wine presser somewhere I don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you I place you in their mind by the spirit of the living God I place you in their mind may God cause them to speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind it says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there are many of you you are not sick but the fear that is on you you get up in the morning will an accident happen you just feel something small in your body and the devil says death it is the voice of the enemy I want to silence it right now every voice that is planting fear in Jesus name that voice is hereby silence forever silence forever silence forever I prophesy over you you shall not die no untimely death in the name of Jesus please hear me anybody that is plotting evil against you whether kidnap or accident or sickness in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow them let the earth open and swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ any charm any coven any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you I declare that the power fails instantly let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus may Ebenezer the helper of men surprise you in the name of Jesus every ministry here every business that is dead or dying everything in your hand that is dying you are holding something that is dying I give it life now let it come back to life now your business comes back to life your body comes back to life your ministry comes back to life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life for Samson it was Delilah that took that glory from him for Gideon something happened and he the least person the least in his father's house all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life you used to be great you used to be anointed you used to be favored something happened and you just started drying up like a tree in the name of Jesus may the restorer restore you tonight 
I say it again. May the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Any door that was once opened for good, and whether by mistakes on your part, by not understanding the laws that keep doors open or by some demonic thing that door closed whether doors of favor doors of relationship doors into the heart of great men I stand and call upon he that has the key of David the one that opened it and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it I speak to that door a fata be open be open be open the door to the hearts of kings be open the door to your destiny help us hearts be open in the name of Jesus Christ I've taught you that who hates you does not matter but truly who likes you matters are we together let me pray for you you are not stagnated but you are not making constructive progress it will take you one year to do something that can be done in two months. That is not the will of God. I want to declare acceleration for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you between now and the next two months, you will do things you have not done in five years. I prophesy you will do things you have not done in five years. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the Lord is saying something to me. I must obey him. The Lord is saying there are families where there are covenants that you and your children will never marry or enjoy marriage or marry and go back to your parents' homes. The Lord is saying I should speak over you. I stand by the privilege of priesthood. Every family that the doors of marriage has been closed, let it be open now. 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 And in the name of Jesus, for every marriage right now that is epileptic, it looks as if it is crashing. The devil is joining the head of husband and wife and causing trouble. I declare peace to that storm. Peace to that storm. The wisdom to live in peace, let it be released upon you. In the name of Jesus. Koinonia, hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, when men say there is a casting down for you, let it be that there is a lifting up. Whether you are in Abuja, you are in Lagos, you are in Kano, whether you are in Nigeria, you are in UK, you are in US, regardless the location from tonight, may the blessing speak on you. May the blessing speak on you. With that blessing, let there be favor. With that blessing, let there be speed. With that blessing, let there be restoration. With that blessing, let there be restoration. I say it again, with that blessing, let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayers. Can I pray for your finances? For as long as I live, I will not only see to it that you are vibrant spiritually and growing in influence, I believe in economic empowerment where God empowers the right hands once God has a heart that loves him and that you are able to use resources to better your life and to advance the cause of the kingdom there are no restraints to him making wealth available are we together by this prayer for some of you what you will be receiving is wisdom by this prayer what you, some of you will be receiving is access to the right resources but then in the name of Jesus, I pray. The Bible says, believe. It says, and by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. It says, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. God who has shown many help. God who has shown many mercy. Picking men from unbelievable pits and raising them to places of honor. I call upon that God to surprise you in your finances. Every closed door over your destiny, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that door is open now. That door is open now. Open for you and your children. Open for you and your wife. Open for you and your husband. 
open for you and everyone connected to you in the name of Jesus my God will surprise you some of you hear me some of you literally by this time tomorrow I stand by Apakatoske help that gentleman by this time tomorrow may my God surprise you no more dryness in your finances personally corporately no more dryness hear me if there is any one of you here who is owing whether as a company whether as an individual I don't care owing is owing anybody who is owing in the name of Jesus Christ I place an unction upon you come out of that debt now come out of that financial situation now in the name of Jesus Christ the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week may God bring this as a witness to your life what you have been looking for I command it to start looking for you ah, 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 hear this one what you have been looking for may it start looking for you in the name of Jesus Christ every confusion in your life may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now everyone who is discouraged and downcast you are wondering what will become of your life I want to speak to you in the name of Jesus you will have the last laugh in this life anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death I declare may death pass over you may death pass over you you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country you are blessed in Abuja blessed in Lagos blessed in America blessed in UK all over Europe all over Africa return as a sign and a wonder return as a testament of God's favor in the name of Jesus everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of God the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receive strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting 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 your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny name of Jesus whatever has silenced your influence so that your voice will not be heard I call upon the God of my covenant may you be heard from today may you be heard from today let the ends of the earth hear you let the ends of the earth hear you my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard John said I am the voice of one crying he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice I came by the road of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that silence comes to an end 
everywhere your finance is for this season can i pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now i give you one month by prophecy may the god of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of god the testimony of god helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of jesus the gift that the lord has put within you i stir it up by the anointing and i declare may it bring you profiting 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 what you have been looking for i command it to start looking for you ah, 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 hear this one what you have been looking for may it start looking for you in the name of jesus christ every confusion in your life may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now everyone who is discouraged and downcast you are wondering what will become of your life i want to speak to you in the name of jesus you will have the last laugh in this life anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death i declare may death pass over you may death pass over you you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country you are blessed in abuja blessed in lagos blessed in america blessed in uk all over europe all over africa return as a sign and a wonder return as a testament of god's favor in the name of jesus now let me speak over your spiritual life everything attacking your prayer life attacking your word study life attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things it dies permanently right now may your prayer life be fanned back to flames may your word study life be fanned back to flames may your passion for the house of god be fanned back to flames may your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames in the name of jesus christ listen I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers. Like Ahasuerus. And make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Anyone here who came from a background of failure, you saw those before you fail, whether in ministry, whether in life, and there are covenants and ordinances connected to you by the blood of the eternal covenant. I speak to someone from this day. I severe you from that foundation. I severe you from that foundation. I declare longevity in ministry, longevity of impact, the staying power until the end. In the name of Jesus, you will never be found where God is not. I say it again, you will never be deceived to go where God is not. In the name of Jesus, every counsel of Ahitophel, I decree and declare your ears will not hear it. The ears of your helpers will not hear it. I say it again, your ears will not hear it. The counsel of Ahitophel, your helpers will not hear it. Anyone coming by the way of Demas, may they be far from you. Anyone coming in the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias to stop you from building, I declare they depart from your life. 
anyone coming in the spirit of Judas, may they be far from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, your place of mentorship will be like that. Listen, I prophesy to someone by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will have a place like the house of Tyrannos. You will raise others. You will raise mighty men. You will raise others. You will raise mighty men. You will raise others mightier than you in the name of Jesus. For anyone here who is saying time is gone, I've lost certain things in the name of Jesus. On account of this impartation, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. 10 years in one year, one year in one month, in the name of Jesus. Two more prayers for you. I want to pray over your finances. Believe it all. Lack of finances can keep you at the corridors of compromise, especially if you're in ministry. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God raise help for you. Financial help in ministry. Help that stabilizes your integrity. In the name of Jesus. Any ministerial association, any business association, any political association, any leadership association that will corrupt you from the purity of your work with God, leading you into practices that are not of God, destroying the purity of your oil. I pray, may your feet not go there. Shout it again, may your feet not go there. Whether in ministry, whether in business, your, those people will not find you. They will not find your children. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says for your shame, you shall receive double. It's called honor. It's not just restoration. Listen, I have taught you what honor is. Honor is the grace that makes people perceive your value accurately. And then reward that value to match your sacrifice. If you do not have honor, you will always be serving the wrong audience. They will not have a recognition for what you carry, nor an appreciation for it. I pray for you. You will not serve the wrong audience. You will not serve the wrong audience. God will position men who can discern and reward your sacrifice in the spirit. And for everyone who has come to celebrate with these ones, I decree and declare, as God has done it for them, may he do it for you. Do it for your ministries. Do it for your businesses. Do it for whatever it is you are involved with. In the name of Jesus. Pray for everyone here who is sick in your body. You are in need of a touch supernaturally. May God answer that prayer now. May God answer that desire now. That you will walk out of this place healed. You will walk out of this place delivered. Brand new organs to your body. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Every grace, every spiritual resource that needs to land on your head. And to begin to attract strange testimonies to your life. Whether it is wisdom, receive it. Be it favor, receive it. Be it honor, receive it. Be it understanding, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone bearing gifts. Gifts of help, gifts of wisdom, gifts of access, gifts of ideas meant for you and your destiny. And in the name of Jesus, you have not been able to meet together. I declare that connection happens in this season. That prophetic divine connection happens in this season. It happens in this season. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of jesus christ may my god do something between now and the end of the month that will bring strange celebrations to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I am a steward of the manifold grace of God. Say activate the graces by faith. They begin to speak in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad they are suffering and wasting time greener pasture is not in a physical location greener pasture is in the voice of god anybody wrongly located across the globe i take you back to your place of destiny i'm praying for you the era of foolish decisions trouble making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions decisions one decision that you will make you will leap five years forward five years forward five years forward in the name of jesus christ you will speak and your words will no longer be empty I say to you again, you will speak and your words will no longer be empty. You will speak and create realities in the lives of people. You will speak and cast out devils from the lives of people. You will speak and correct negative circumstances in the lives of people. You will speak and release life to as many. In the name of Jesus. Where there is darkness, as soon as you step in there, let there be light. Where there is death, as soon as you step in there, in the name of Jesus, let there be resurrection. Where there is poverty and limitation, as soon as you step in there, let there be abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your sake, people around you will not be weak. For your sake, the weak will become strong. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you and I call you life-giving spirits. In ministry, you are a life-giving spirit. In business, you are a life-giving spirit. In career, you are a life-giving spirit. As a parent, you are a life-giving spirit. In the name of Jesus. And everything that looks like death and weakness in your life, I drive it far from you. Everything that looks like shame and reproach, I drive it far from you. In the mighty name of Jesus news comes for you in their variety in the name of Jesus whatever will make you cry may it not happen whatever will make you regret being a Christian may it not happen whatever will make you doubt the power of God may it not happen for your sake let strangers rise I say it again for your sake let strangers rise in your going out you are blessed in your coming in you are blessed you will not have to tell people you came to church the grace and the anointing and the favor of God will go with you in the name of Jesus whoever you bless is blessed anyone that troubles you goes down I say it again the trouble of your destiny goes down your children are blessed everyone connected to you is blessed you remain on fire for Jesus on fire through your prayer on fire through your passion for the word in the name of Jesus as touching your prophetic destiny go forward as touching your prophetic destiny go forward make progress I say it again go forward and make progress I speak over you that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against you will fall in judgment from tonight until Sunday good news I say it again from tonight until Sunday good news every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead that door is open now that door is open now open for you and your children open for you and your wife open for you and your husband open for you and everyone connected to you in the name of Jesus number two Genesis 21 verse 6 this is someone's prophetic word I'm praying now 21 verse 6 Genesis Genesis 21 verse 6 and Sarah said God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. I decree and declare 
let this be a season of laughter for you let this be a season of laughter for you in the name of Jesus laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the evening laughter in the night in the name of Jesus you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up in the name of Jesus and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and when they opened it they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you in the name of Jesus when Nehemiah began to build the temple the wall of Jerusalem the Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project one Sambalat two Tobias I pray for you anyone spying on your progress and working with men and spirits to see that you don't advance to see that the promotion does not come to see that the rest does not come I decree and declare they are banished from your life forever banished from your life forever the week will not end until every one of those blessings appear if it is help let it appear if it's prosperity let it appear if it's restoration let it appear if it's wisdom let it appear if it's a miracle job let it appear in the name of Jesus whatever needs to happen this week to move you forward that you will make constructive progress in your life your destiny and also in advancing God's program I agree with you may it happen speedily this week I declare over you that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against you will fall in judgment you have no business with death this week your loved ones are supernaturally protected I speak abundance to your life I speak favor to your life your love for Jesus is waxing hotter and hotter you will see results this week supernatural testimonies this week on Sunday you will be the first to stand and testify and in the name of Jesus let there be a renewed orientation in you let there be a renewed orientation in you that God can do without me God can do without you but he has chosen as an act of his mercy and grace to make you a major part of his program and there is nothing the devil can do about it you believe that shout amen, amen. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus men will look at your life and they will literally see your contribution and they will see the God factor too nobody will confuse the hand of God upon your life nobody will credit your results entirely to your efforts it will be so spectacular it will be clear that you were in partnership with God ministry in partnership with God business in partnership with God parenting in partnership with God I pray for you the forces that fight God's program fight your role in actualizing God's program I curse them right now in Jesus name by the ministry of the blood I decree and declare over you that every legal access Satan has over your life and over your bishopric in the name of Jesus let the blood speak right now let the blood speak mercy let the blood speak freedom let the blood speak jubilee let the blood speak liberty number two I pray for you that the wisdom that is needed in this new season wisdom grows because it is alive the wisdom needed to scale your impact the faith needed to dare things that men cannot even dare and in the name of Jesus the empowerment of the spirit that helps you to run through a troop and to leap over walls in the name of Jesus may they rest upon you empowered by wisdom receive it empowered by the spirit of faith receive it by this impartation fear dies in your life 
The fear of the past dies in your life. The fear of opinions of men die in your life. The fear of failure dies in your life. The fear of the future dies in your life. In the name of Jesus. And then I pray for you. Seeing that even your destiny is men dependent. Everyone ordained by God to show up in your life, your ministry in this season. To make your calling and your election sure. I pray that speedily they will show up. I pray that speedily they will appear. I say it again. Speedily they will show up. Speedily they will appear. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey. And may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts. And may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.